Hello guys, welcome back to Dharma Geosphere. Today I will be interacting with you on uh, recent views on uh, mountain building. Uh, recent views basically mean uh, that all the views uh, uh, that have been uh, incorporated to explain the mountain building process within the framework of uh, the new theory of uh, plate tectonics. So based on the uh, movements of uh, the plates and the plate boundaries, uh, the mountains have been uh, classified differently. Uh, if it is um, continent, continent, that is convergent plates, continent, continent, you have uh, the resultant folding and the folded mountains like the Appalachians, the Alps and the Himalayas. And similarly, uh, if there are uh, ocean, ocean um, uh, collision in convergent uh, boundaries, you have volcanic mountains. And if you are, there are divergent um, boundaries, you find uh, faulting and fault block uh, mountains. So like this, they brought the uh, three um, classifications of uh, mountains. That is the fold mountains, the volcanic mountains, and the fault block mountains. So I'll try to show you what uh, the process of uh, each uh, of these um, convergent, divergent, and ocean-ocean uh, uh, interaction uh, plate movement and the resultant mountains along with the uh, examples in, uh, in the slideshow. Please do not uh, go back and read some old theories uh, related to mountain building. Uh, the topic is very clear. It is just about recent views on mountain building. So if you see these uh, earth movements can broadly be divided into endogenetic and exogenetic. In the endogenetic, you have both slow and uh, sudden movement. Slow movements are categorized uh, together as uh, diastrophic or diastrophism, whereas sudden movements are categorized as catastrophism. In the slow movements, you further have epiorigenic or continent formation, uh, which has both upward movement and downward movement, and uh, other uh, division is the orogenic or mountain building which uh, can be formed either through tension or compression. And then in exogenetic, you have sudden movement that is catastrophic, that are earthquakes and volcanoes. And then it can also involve weathering and erosion. Weathering can be physical, chemical, and biological, and erosion can be through the agents of glacier, river water, waves, wind, and underground water like the cast. So if you see um, uh, tension, tension can further be divided into the crustal fracture or faults where uh, you find mostly happening at the divergent uh, boundaries and then you have uh, compression that is uh, crustal bending or folds happening at continent continent or also could be ocean continent or ocean ocean. So what is the mountain building process as I told you broadly it is divided into uh, three types, uh, where is folding which involves bending of the rocks happening in continent, continent uh, convergent boundaries and then faulting of rocks that is breaking away of rocks at divergent boundaries and the volcanic activity which happens at ocean, ocean uh, continental convergence. Thus there are three types of mountains. Fold mountains, volcanic mountains, and fault block mountains. These are the fold mountains. They usually occur at convergent boundaries. The examples are Appalachians, Himalayas, and the Alps. This is the normal strata, how it gets um, slowly folded because of the plate movements. It gets compressed, just like how a paper would respond if you push it uh, they on both the sides together. So, Fold in where the, when the strata gets bent due to compression or movement of the plate, the Himalayas, Alps, Andes, Rockies, Urals are all classified as fold mountains. There are also again two types of folding. One is an anticline, which is the arching due to compression. The other is syncline, which is a sink due to the compression. So this is anticline and this is syncline. So you can see these are the rock strata, how the uh, anticlines over arc and how the synclines are folded like a basin. 
So in the continent, continental boundaries, both pieces of crust have very relatively low density and cannot be subducted. So the plate will instead push together and get deformed. Either it can get uh, folded, mostly it is folded, or sometimes it can even break and get in formation of faults. So this will build up thick areas of crust, thus creating the tallest mountains of the earth, the Himalayas, the Apple Chain, the Andes, the Alps, etc. So this is how uh, folding and how the Himalayas were uh, created by pushing on the uh, uh, Eurasian plate to the Asian plate. So this is how you can see the entire uh, movement of uh, the um, Eurasian plate. Um, and as you see today, uh, 10 million from 10 million the coins still growing. The, uh, they are the youngest fold mountains and they are still uh, growing. So this is fall block, they normally occur at uh, convergent boundaries. Uh, for example, the Grand Tetons or the Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada is a very typical fall block mountain. So the fall block mountains are formed as large blocks of crust when they are uplifted and tilted along normal falls when there is divergent of these boundaries. Uh, you have a formation of graven and uh, host. So this is how uh, a fault um, strata get broken and then uh, the one block just slips or slides down uh, like this and then uh, the faulting happens like this and you can see the mountain growing from here. This is the example of uh, the fault block mountain, the Sierra Nevada, uh, etc. And then uh, the, they form a divergent boundaries where two plates are moving and pulling apart. Many times this occurs along the fault line, which is nothing but a crack. And the volcanic mountains, they are formed by uh, igneous intrusions, uh, magma rising through the crust when two oceanic plates uh, collide with each other in convergent boundaries. You have Mount Fuji in Japan, uh, Mount Akia in Hawaii, and Mount Renan. They are the examples of uh, the volcanic mountains. This is the volcanic mountains, how they are formed. Then an ocean, ocean convergent boundary is subducted. One uh, oceanic plate is subducted in another. It causes a sinking plate to melt. So as magma rises upward, an island arc of more volcanic mountain chains is formed. Say like uh, Mount uh, Pinatubo and the Philippine Islands, these are the examples of volcanic mountains formed due to ocean ocean convergent boundaries. So this is how the two oceanic crust plates collide. The older, denser plate usually subducts, and when it subducts, entire, well, the entire plate gets melted in the uh, high heat, and when that melted thing, it will accumulate and rise up like a volcano and form a volcanic mountain. It can also form uh, uh, in oceanic continental convergent mountain with a similar process where uh, the continental, uh, the oceanic crust gets subducted as at the continental crust because the oceanic crust is heavier than the continental crust. So again, magma rises upward, forming a volcanic mountain range on the continental crust. So you have this uh, Andes mountains in South America, which are uh, Good example of an ocean continent convergent boundary. So this is the ocean continent convergent boundary. So that is all, guys. Uh, I made it uh, simple. All all that you have to do is draw the diagrams of the convergent and uh, the divergent uh, plate boundaries when you are explaining the formation of uh, these three main types of uh, mountains. So that's all uh, for today. We'll catch up um, in the next video. Now I'll be going a little faster, uh, making life easy for you and making um, all the topics very simple so that you complete as many topics as possible before you um, just after the prelims is over, you are ready to just sit and revise. So okay guys, uh, take care, uh, be stay focused. Stay confident, uh, you will all get through the prelims, that's not a worry, but you need to manage your time well uh, for your uh, optional and the general studies mains. Okay guys, bye!